How extensive is Turkey's soft power? Long gone are the days when Turkey's cultural exports consisted of just desserts and coffee. Its television dramas have become binge-watching musts across the globe. In a world bored of Hollywood, Turkish period pieces have become especially popular. I love Diriliş Ertuğrul. Diriliş Ertuğrul. Diriliş Ertuğrul. Diriliş Ertuğrul. Diriliş Ertuğrul. Diriliş Ertuğrul. The best series ever made. <laughs> Diriliş Ertuğrul, or Resurrection Ertuğrul, is a historical drama set in the 13th century. It's based on the life of Ertuğrul Gazi, the father of Osman, who founded the Ottoman Empire. The series has become a global sensation since its debut in 2014, capturing the hearts and minds of millions in more than 70 countries. In Pakistan, the drama became a cultural sensation, breaking the country's YouTube record for most subscribers gained in a month. The series aired on state television PTV at the request of Prime Minister Imran Khan, who's a big fan of this show. But how did Turkish dramas become so successful? How were they able to compete against Hollywood and other big name producers? It first starts from Hollywood, and then it goes to Bollywood, and then it is shown here. A third hand culture is being promoted in Pakistan. I want our children and youth to learn where is the difference and that we also have our own culture. Teach us about great Islamic values, about Muslim unity and uh, respect for elders, respect for women. It doesn't objectify women like other mainstream media. For many, Arturul filled a void long left by other global studios. Its portrayal of Islamic values like honor, dignity and faith contributed to its popularity in Muslim countries. And in the post 9-11 world, the show marked a welcome change, opposing stereotypes often seen in the West. Bollywood and Hollywood both have at best depicted Muslims as naive victims of brainwash of fundamentalist elements, or at worst as out and out perpetrators of sin, terrorism, and vile acts in the society. But Arturul is far from a one-off phenomenon. Turkish dramas have long been making strides in the global TV industry. Turkey is now the world's second biggest exporter of television series after the US, entertaining more than 700 million people in nearly 150 countries. Exports of Turkish series reached $500 million in 2018, and it's expected to reach over a billion dollars by 2023. And they aren't just limited to historical pieces. There's almost every genre, from romantic comedies, thrillers, to everyday family foods, all with big budgets and star-studded casts. And that's translated into high demand from Serbia to Indonesia. It's even sweeping through South America. In 2014, the series 1001 Nights was the most viewed program in Chile. In Paraguay, people even started giving their children the Turkish names of their TV heroes. And Turkey's lucrative tourism industry is definitely getting a boost. Last year alone, tourism revenues hit a record $34.5 billion. And being filmed in a country like Turkey that has a unique combination of natural beauty and historic sites, fans are now flocking to see their favorite scenes in real life. This success helps boost tourism and has even spawned specialized tours. Fans can see where their favorite shows are filmed and maybe even catch a glimpse of their favorite star. The world of entertainment has long been dominated by a few companies and countries. But now, new players are rising to fill those gaps that were often missed. And as more people tire of the same old stories out of Hollywood, it looks like Turkey's soft power has a bright future.